Hi, I wanted to do an update on my vacuum drying and silica gel blanks. Remember I did uh, three under vacuum and one under silica gel. Well, here they are after they've been dried. You can see uh, the vacuum was had a little checking and cracking. And number four is the one I did in silica gel. doesn't seem to have any cracking or checking anywhere. Lucky, I guess. Remember, one, two, and three were under vacuum and with heat. Number four was with silica gel. All right. <clears throat> I dyed them when I stabilized them. Purple, black, and brown. Here they're under vacuum. You can see them under vacuum. This is after 24 hours. You see there's no bubbles. This is after I took them out of the cactus juice. You see, I drill them before I stabilize them. That way, if there's any cracks or anything in them, after they're stabilized, I can fill them. Here they are in my little Presto cooker. I baked them. And you can notice there's no residue on the bottom. Here's after I weighed them. 96 grams is before I drilled them, 81 grams after, and 109 after they were stabilized. Here they are after they've been stabilized. I turned the one in black down because I wanted to be able to get rid of the cracks. I did that by using a Lumalite. Put it in a little mold. And filling the mold with aluminite. Here's my off poop for the day. Bingo. Push it down. Put some more aluminite in there. The aluminite under pressure, when you put it in the pressure pot, it'll fill the cracks. Amazing. Here it is after it comes out. You can see the blank in there. You can see the crack. <coughs> Works like a charm. Okay, the one I stabilized with. Uh, Silica gel. I'm gonna hot, gonna pressure infuse to 3,000 psi. I'm gonna do it blue. I'm gonna put it under high pressure. Now, if you're, if you've never worked with high pressure fluid or air before, don't do this at home. If you don't know what you're doing, it can hurt you real bad. Here's another little trick if you're going to put O-rings or something in a pressure vessel. Make sure you put a little love lube on them. It makes them slide together a whole lot better. Keeps you from cutting the O-rings. There you go. Okay, this is the way I get my 3,000 PSI. I put them in a hydraulic press, pump it up. And I did find out from the professionals who do this for money 
that whenever it stabilizes, the pressure stabilizes, it's as fused as it, infused as it's going to get. So once you get to 3,000 psi and it stays there, it's done. You can take it out, and that takes about 10 minutes, a lot less time than 24 hours in a vacuum chamber. Anyway, works great. Remember. Watch out for this if you, if you try it at home. Dangerous. One thing I did learn from the professionals, they don't do it this way. They use air over the fluid. So they have to do an extra step. They have to put it through a vacuum to get the air back out of it. Seems like an easier way to do it. This is an easier way to do it. Uh, you can see the higher you go in the pressure, the less it's bleeding back down. That means it's infusing well. Okay, here I am taking it out of the uh, cylinder after the infusion process. Remember, it took less than half an hour to do this, in and out. Okay, here I am taking the blank out of the cactus juice. It's blue. Looks black, but it's blue. Anyway, fresh infusion really works. Half hour, total time, in and out. Done. All right, now it's going to the oven. I use a little Presto cooker here. And you can see that the stuff doesn't boil out when it's dry. Anyway, here's the weights. 80 grams. 51 grams before. After. 120 grams from the 80 grams. 51 grams to 124 grams. Number five wasn't the dogwood, it's a punky piece of rotten wood. That's why it took so much fluid. Okay, this is the weight of all the blanks from green to dry to drilled and then to stabilized. Here they are, all stabilized and drilled. One is finished. I'm having a lot of trouble with my right wrist, so I can't do a lot of turning, but here they are. This is the black one, I had the crack in it. Anyway, this is a reminder, whenever you use a vacuum pump, change the oil. This is what it looks like inside after you vacuum the water out of something. Not pretty. Anyway, lots of luck. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.